Hello guys, welcome back to Divine Time in Tarot. This is Tanya. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Cross watchers, you're always welcome. Y'all, new people, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Good morning, Divine Time and Tarot family. I love you guys. Welcome, 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 new subscribers. Here doing a general reading for Virgo. This is for the first week of March 2022. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Virgo. Um... I wish you loved me is playing by Tanisha Kelly. I wish you loved me. So maybe that's significant to someone. Um, Virgo, I've already shuffled sage and prayed over your cards. God, angels, and sisters, Holy Spirit. What do we have for Virgo? Yeah. Somebody wished... You love them, or maybe this is how you're feeling about somebody else. Um, what do we have for Virgo? Ooh, wedding just flew out. This could be somebody you were married to. You were married to or are married to them. Heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Somebody wants to talk. What else you have for Virgo? Ooh, let go of control issues. At the bottom of the deck, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. This situation involves marriage. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Let's get some clarification of these cards. It is so to love. Can you clarify this for me for Virgo? God only just answers his Holy Spirit. Hmm. We got the four wands. This is stability, commitment, engagement, the three of cups. Somebody here is definitely wanting to reunite with you or you're wanting to reunite with someone. And something here is definitely gonna be, is destined. Something here is going to go in your favor. Why is the four of wands with the three of cups? Yeah, we got the ace of pentacles. There's a new beginning here. Yeah, with somebody that's wanting a second chance with you. And it looks like it is safe for you to love this person. Just let it unfold naturally. Don't try to control the situation because it's being divinely guided. Okay, so... You don't have to do anything. Just let it go. Wedding. Why is wedding here? Yeah, something here is going to lead to marriage too. We got the sun card. Clearing, um, clarifying the wedding card. This is happiness, abundance, prosperity. Why is wedding here? Somebody here wants to take action. Could be dealing with a Leo, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Don't have to be those signs. Just saying. Why is wedding here? But somebody that you left out in the cold, or maybe this person left you out in the cold. Six of Pentacles. Somebody could have been dealing, could have been given to someone else, but somebody here wants to take action here. Heart to heart conversation. Why is that here for Virgo? Yeah, there's quick, fast communication coming in. Something is about to happen very quickly for you. Mm. The Queen of Swords is here. Wow. Somebody is coming in and speaks some truth here to you. 
Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Don't have to be, but yeah. Two of Pentacles. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? This is Clarity. Ace of Swords. I'm getting that you've gotten some clarity here from whoever you pray to. Somebody is about to communicate, possibly. Definitely going to be speaking the truth. But somebody is either they've cut somebody off and they, and they really want to be with you. Or you're cutting somebody off because they're juggling. Why is the Two of Pentacles with the Ace of Swords? Yeah, somebody wants to work on a situation with the Eight of Pentacles. And like I said, they could be communicating and letting you know that they are cutting someone off. Somebody here is definitely going to speak some truth to you. Let go of control issues. Why is that here for Virgo? They got the tower. Something unexpected. Why is the tower here? Could be done with a Scorpio. Why is the tower here for Virgo? Why is the tower here for Virgo? Yeah, there's possibly something that's going to end with somebody you've been dealing with for quite some time. Could be a Scorpio. Could be a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. But don't control the situation. Just let it unfold naturally. Yeah, and it's going to balance things out. Let's let go of control issues here with the Ten of Swords. Yeah, because something here is toxic, Virgo. Something here is toxic, and you're going to get the information that you need, okay? You're definitely going to get the information that you need. Just control your emotions with the strength card here. You're strong enough to let something go, period, if that's what you need to do. You have the strength to do it. Give me some more information here for Virgo on this situation. Give me some more information on this situation. Virgo. What other information does Virgo need to know about this situation? Use your intuition because it's on fleet, okay? You know what it is you need to do. You know somebody's holding some secrets too. You know. Why is the high priestess here? Why is the high priestess here for Virgo? The Prince of Pentacles. This is good news of money. Some of you guys could have started a new job. Someone here secretly wants to start something new with you. But they're holding back something from you. Why is the Prince of Pentacles with the High Priestess? Why is the Prince of Pentacles with the High Priestess? Yeah, the devil. Yeah, the devil again. We got the devil here twice. Somebody here has possibly started something new and not letting you know. Somebody here has addictions, obsessions. Somebody here possibly got you in a third party. Why is the devil here twice, guys? Yeah, somebody's juggling the two of pentacles. And you possibly already know because your intuition is on high. Universe is already giving you clarity here with the Ace of Swords. The Prince of Cups, somebody wants to apologize to you. Definitely could be dealing with that very immature person here also, Virgo. Yeah, Eight of Cups, somebody's walking away. Somebody's walking away from a situation because it's toxic and then you know somebody here is juggling. Yeah. Or this is how somebody's feeling about you. Where go? What is what is it that Virgo needs to do about this situation? God, angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit. What do they need to do? Chariot, move on. You need to move on away from something. Or someone's moving away from you. Why is a chariot here? 
Why does the chariot here? The six of wands. Because when you move on, you're moving on towards victory and success. You're going to be getting a lot of attention. You're going to have other options. Okay? And you could be dealing with somebody that likes a lot of attention. Yeah, the queen of swords. It's time to cut something off. It's, it's trying to cut somebody off that likes a lot of attention. Somebody here is very immature and they don't really know what they want. But they want to string you along, I believe. It feels like somebody wants to string you along. Yeah, somebody here is very manipulative. Very manipulative and you need to guard yourself from this person. Somebody here is still willing to fight for something, though, too. Yeah, you're dealing with a manipulative person. Look what's at the bottom of the deck. The Seven of Swords, a sneaky-ass person. Very sneaky. Hides things. Puts you in third parties. Plays those mind games. What's the outcome here for Virgo? What is the outcome here for Virgo? Seven of Swords is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody just, you know. Outcome here is something that's going to be at a standstill. But you're getting a different perspective on things. You've definitely been enlightened about your situation here. You, you definitely, you've definitely been enlightened. Somebody, I mean, because... Either you're still holding on to this person or you're 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 backing away or you're holding back. You could be holding back. Why is the four of pentacles with the hangman? That's the outcome. You got the Seven of Pentacles here. I'm getting the feeling you still need to, you still want to offer somebody something. But if you do, it's going to be in, it's, it's going to be at a standstill. Something is not going to move forward because somebody here is very toxic. Somebody here is juggling. Somebody here is not being honest to you. Somebody here also could be with child. Look at how she's holding her, her, her stomach. This person could be pregnant. Somebody here could be pregnant and not even letting you know. It's a possibility. This is not for everybody, though. Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? The Empress. The Empress is also very fertile. This is you knowing your worth, Virgo, okay? This is you wanting to start something new. But someone here could definitely be pregnant. The Empress and this card is showing a, a woman pregnant. The Empress could be pregnant. She's very fertile. Someone here could have started something new with somebody else because... Of a pregnancy. What we got at the bottom of the deck? Two of Cups. This is somebody that you have a real strong connection with. But this person is given to, given to someone else. And they're lying to you about something. They're lying to you about something. Why is this here? Let's see. Why is the Seven of Swords with the Six of Pentacles in the... Two of Cups. Why is it here, guys? Why is it here? The Four of Cups. Somebody here is not accepting an opportunity due to a third party. The 
there's someone else here involved. Why is the Four of Cups here? You could be watching this person or this person is watching you. Yeah, somebody's not going to accept an opportunity. Someone is going to decide to be single. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, this could be you. You're going to decide to be single and abundant. You're looking good. You're smelling good. Money good. You're very stable. You're very balanced. You're going to continue to do some healing within yourself. What's the advice? What is the advice for Virgo? God, angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit. Yeah, start a new beginning. Ace of Pentacles. You're going to get an abundant new beginning here. Money is going to be looking very good for you. You're going to start something new here. It's like you're going to move on and start something new here. Things are definitely going to go in your favor with the will of fortune. Something is destined to be over or something is destined to come together. This is good luck, good fortune. So, you need to protect yourself. Yeah, let's continue to do some healing within yourself. Because right now, this, is, this situation is really burdening you. And it's time for you to take a step back and just focus on you right now. And just don't try to control this situation because you're just going to, you know, make yourself all crazy. It's being divinely guided. Just leave it alone, period. Let the chips fall where they may is what I'm hearing. Virgo, this is what I have for you. If you resonate, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.